Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video of the entire history of families. It was a bit of a mouthful, but it's all right. Today we're gonna to be doing two families actually. We're gonna be doing the Vitor family and the Stroud family. My pronunciations have never been tip top, so just put that one out there now. We get to meet both of these families with the Forgotten Hollow, which came as part of the Vampires pack in The Sims 4. I'm gonna start off by talking about Count Vladislaus Stroud. Just gonna call him Vlad and we'll move on from that. He is the oldest known vampire to be alive in The Sims 4. And that sounds quite dramatic and it sounds like that's quite a feat. It's not really, because there's only three alive vampires in the full world. So, you know, one out of three. Not that great. Not that bad, not that great. Out of these three, he is also the most powerful. He is a Grandmaster Vampire, which is the highest strength. So, well done, Vlad. He's going places. He's also level 10 in the Pipe Organ and a level 8 in Charisma. He is the music man. He'll try to kill your sims. It's Vladdy Stroud. And his traits kind of reflect this. He is a loner, a music lover, and he's also evil. So, it seems like Vlad's got a little bit of a sad existence going on. Same though. I'm not one to judge. And even though he looks like he's knocking on Death's door, and he really does, he's actually a young adult, which is a bit bizarre. But the heirs have obviously not been good to him, and I think he needs some moisturiser. Even though he is a young adult, he does look really, really old. And he is also really, really old. Obviously, he's a vampire that age differently but he's like ancient so to talk about this i'm going to do some history on vlad just to set the scene at face value he lives in the stroud mansion which is on an isolated part of forgotten hollow and it's a huge victorian house very away from the town isolated he is a loner though so i can understand that he doesn't like to be around people neither do i am i vlad don't know and non-vampires so human normal sims they just think that generations and generations of his family have all lived in this house and they all just happen to look alike. Strong genetics and all that. But it's Vlad. Vlad is the catfish. He is the one that's been living there. There's no ancestors, just him. All in his lonesome in that big, massive, old, creepy house. So this is the history that we're made aware of straight up front. He's lived in Forgotten Hollow in that same house for 200 years, but his history actually goes quite beyond that. He's got quite a backstory. I know. Is this a Sims 4? I'm shocked. I researched through all of the items that came with vampires and one painting said that it came from the 17th century and it features Vlad. So he is at least 400 years old. Is my maths right? 1600. It's 2000 now. Yeah, he's about there. And his transition to Forgotten Hollow came after 25 Sims disappeared from his settling party, which I'm guessing it's not an actual party like, woo. I'm guessing it's when a group of people go somewhere and try and build up a new town. I'm guessing that's what it is. England's not really like that. That happened so many centuries ago, so there's not really any new towns within the past couple of hundred years. But I'm guessing that's what a settling party is. I mean, I could have just Googled it, but where's the fun in that, eh? <laughs> So Vlad was part of that and Vlad was the only survivor from that as well. So all of the other people went missing, he survived. There's nothing as well to show how or why everybody disappeared from this party, but Vlad was actually deeply affected by this and he founded Forgotten Hollow in their memory. Was not prepared for this. I just thought it was that nasty man who lived up the road. Because he started the town, there is a statue of him in the middle of the center square part of Forgotten Hollow. Non-vampire human sims do think that this is Vlad's like great, 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 great granddad or something but it's not it's vlad he is the catfish of this full town hello is that nave i've got a case their issues i encourage you to take this opportunity to take responsibility for what you've done so that's what we know so far there was a settling party people went missing people died vlad made up this town but what's kind of missing in this story is how vlad became a vampire and i think that these two stories are interconnected i think that there's a link between them there's no confirmed link but i'm just gonna put my opinion out there and treat it as fact i think because of the settling and the settling in a new place there's people that they've never met before i think vlad must have bumped into a vampire or something got turned into a new vampire and as this new untrained vampire, he killed all of his party that he was with, all 25 people, which seems like a reach, right? Because it's 25 people, but Vlad is committed to showing up at your house every single night. He could totally kill 25 people in a night. He visits at least 25 houses in a night, and I'll tell you that one for free. That is the cold hard facts. So he definitely could do something like this. But the fact that he was so impacted by it deeply enough to start a new town. It's a little bit shocking. Our little Vlad has a soul. I mean, the soul's probably decrepit by the time that we're on now, because like I say, he pops up at your house 25 times a night. But I do like to think that when he first started, he still had a little bit of 
soul left in there. I'm treating this like it's the Vampire Diaries and there's like a 25 episode drama all about this, but there's not. Even though he had compassion for this, Vlad is also a bad vampire. He takes blood from Sims without their permission, which don't do that, hypothetically, if you're ever a vampire. It's all gonna be consensual. Before I skip over the next bit, I do also just want to mention that Vlad actually has human relatives. With The Sims 4 seasons, the climate family was introduced and they are available on the gallery. And these are Vlad's relatives. Apparently the cousins, but Vlad's like 400 years old, so how can that be? Doesn't add up to me. But they invite Vlad round for like a dinner and I don't realise that he's a vampire, so. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? So I just thought I'd shut that in there. It was a necessary bit of information that I couldn't pass because logistically, it just doesn't work. How can there be cousins? But there you go, human relatives. And there is also a sim featured in the trailer for the vampire pack called Miss Hell. What an edgy name. Instagram baddie. But Vlad actually ends up turning Miss Hell into a vampire. And then Miss Hell ends up turning Caleb Vitar, who we all know and love, into a vampire. And then Vlad ended up turning his sister, Lilith, into a vampire. So that brings us all a bit full circle and it brings us onto the Vitar siblings. Caleb and Lilith Vitar are siblings, obviously, as I've just said, and they're both unemployed young adults who moved to Forgotten Hollow recently. They live in Wolfsbane Manor in the town and all, in a quite Victorian house. It's a very Victorian place. The word Wolfsbane has often been tied to supernatural things, mainly werewolves, but it is also thought to be repellent against vampires, so. I mean, it kind of didn't work, did it? Because now two vampires live in the house, but good effort. And Lilith, whose name refers to Demon of the Night in Jewish mythology, is an outgoing creative and active sim with the vampire family aspiration. And Caleb, on the other hand, is a foodie, which I found that one quite funny, because you know, he's a vampire, uh, can't eat the food, like the real food. It's on about foodies and people. But as well as this, he's also an ambitious and materialistic sim. And he's got the good vampire aspiration. And a fun fact, which I quite liked, is that Caleb is actually bisexual. And this is shown in the trailer for the vampire pack. He's seen flirting with men and women. Which I think just having that normalisation of, of anything to do with the LGBTQ plus community in everyday things like a trailer is really great and it kind of goes against the heteronormative things in society. This got deep real fast, but stuff like that I think is totally great to just have these things as a normal thing. Great job here. Both Caleb and Lilith do seem like good sims, they are good vampires, but Caleb is definitely the standout for me. He wants to mix with the human world a little bit, be a good person. Unlike Vlad, who just wants to drink people's blood, not consensually. That not right. And it's also not stated how long Lilith and Caleb have been vampires either, how old they are, or whether they moved to Forgotten Hollow as vampires or humans. That one's still up in the air for debate, and we are gonna, gonna take it down from the air, debate it. So the trailer shows Caleb turning a sim into a vampire, which kind of goes against his whole moral vibe, but I don't trust anything by it here, so I'm just gonna overlook that one. But the sim that he turns is actually featured in some of the paintings that are available with the pack the same paintings that i mentioned vlad being featured in in like the 17th century so that could show caleb as being very old about the same age as vlad but i don't think that that's true and i'll tell you for why i think that caleb and Lilith are a lot younger because a they've got different beliefs from vlad it causes some contention between the vatars and the well just vlad really bio states that they've got different culinary tastes meaning they prefer to ask humans for permission instead of just going in full wham and drinking the blood as time goes on people tend to be more progressive like look how much we've changed from the 50s to now minus alabama so times change with with time obviously their views kind of indicate that they were born later if they've got this kind of progressive stance on drinking blood i'm taking this so goddamn seriously and it's literally about fictional vampires but anyway and b I don't really have a B. False, I have a B now. So watching the trailers back again and again and again, I realised, ah, oh, well, they can't be as old as him because the settings for them being turned and old. They're pretty modern. So theory debunked. I was right. Trust your intuition, kids. Caleb and Lilith are quite young, quite modern. So, oh, I'm so unnecessary. And they've got to be younger than Vlad anyway because Vlad turned them, so. Even though there's a lot of references to drama between Vlad and the Vatars, it's not really shown in the relationship panel. This is not the kind of Tatty and James Charles drama that's thoroughly fleshed out and has got lots of backstory. This one doesn't. And like I say in every single video, this is definitely an oversight by EA. At this point, it's just kind of annoying. Is it too much to ask for EA to just follow a plot point through? It's not that much effort to make a bad relationship between Sims. And yeah, it might only be small, but it's like, 
every single time. It's like, oh, what a great story. But there's no background to it. It's just written in a bio. Where's the drama, Becky? I really wish I could say more on the Vitars, but there's not much there. The house is lacking in personality overall. The bedrooms look the exact same. And the town is pretty small in itself, so there's nothing else I can talk about. I'm not really into supernatural gameplay that much, but Vampires is the only supernatural addition to the game that I've actually wanted to play since The Sims make in magic, and that was an absolute treasure. I really enjoy Caleb Vitar. I don't know why, he just seems like this infamous Sim in my head. Standout Sim 4 Sims are definitely Bella Goth. No, just Bella Goth and Caleb Vidal, that's it. I don't really like any others, I don't think. Just them two. Oh, swearing again. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I do also have an entire playlist full of these types of videos, so I'll link at the end. If you want to go and watch more, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think. Suggest any other families as well. And I'll see you all after.